So, all right, guys. These are the last bracelets I've made. This one is for my sister. It's got a little angel on it that I made. And a little tag that says made for an angel. And a place to put her button on. And some lovely just little glass beads. These are, you know, just... They're not very expensive or anything like that, so if they get lost, that's fine. But, um, but yeah, I thought they'd be kind of like just cute little stocking stuffers. And this is for my niece, same thing. Now, she was born in January, so I gave her a little uh, garnet red rondelle. And my sister was born in November, so happy birthday, Amanda, if you're watching this. And so that was uh, a little rondelle here. Now, almost everything I bought here came from Beads Galore. The beads came from Beads Galore. The, all the angel stuff came from Beads Galore. Um, even the little angel tag, I believe, came from Beads Galore. Now, that one came from here, like, a while ago, so, um, I don't know if you can, uh, hopefully they're gonna get some more angel stuff in, because I really need some more angel stuff, but yeah. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today, and we've got, like, a huge package of wings I've been saving. You need, uh, head pins, and I've got some more stuff I'm gonna be making things out of. These are my tools that I use. They have a whole package of these at Beads Galore. These are crimp beads. Crimp beads. Lovely. And these are going to be some uh, some stone ones that I'm going to make as little charms, stuff like that. And, oh, here's my little package. Made for an angel. So cute and adorable. All right, so here's just some other things that I'm going to be doing today. These are bracelets, like the little adjustable bangles for little kid sizes. Now this is made out of a craft wire, so um, it would tarnish and stuff like that. This guy is made out of stainless steel, so he's not gonna turn. Now, the back of the button is, um, I used what's called a triple thick deco art brilliant uh, gloss glaze. It's supposed to, you know, help keep um, metals protected. I have found that um, this guy here, I haven't tried him yet, so I just brushed him on there, so hopefully that works out really well. But I found that whenever I have this glaze on uh, a bracelet that touches the skin, once it gets wet, it's done. It starts eroding and things like that. So yes, yeah, so you wanna be careful not to get that guy wet. But anyway, so here's my little toolbox of items that I've got. So you can see a few things. This one's made out of the black craft wire. This one is my sterling silver. This one is some stainless steel artistic wire. So I can make that, which is what I make my sister's bracelet out of. Here's some angel wings they do have are the gold ones. And they have some brass colored ones and stuff like that. So you can come up here and see about that. And what else? Again, some more uh, stainless steel stuff to check out. And what else, what else? Oh, yeah, let me show you my card. So this is my lovely card. This is how you can get a contact me, and get a hold of me. Uh, text the phone number, don't actually call it because if I don't know you, I'm not gonna answer. Um, also, this guy here, he says, Angel Healing Buttons, bringing creative light to the world with one image, one emotion, and one button at a time. And this guy is called an Anta Corona, which is supposed to be a very, uh, very positive symbol of good energy. So we're just going to go with that. And of course, there's a little angel and stuff. So yeah, and I got that guy over at um, the place. But anyway, so hope you enjoyed my little video and talk to you later. Bye.